Okay, so we were in the process of solving the complete champion camp put on by the Spartans Training Western University. Uh, so let's solve the complete champion. <laughs> complete champion camps. These are uh, sport camps that are put on by Trinity Western University Spartans starting the second week of August. Just, you know, walking distance from here. Volleyball, basketball, it's going to be awesome. But it's an obvious three fest that God is ordaining in my life. So complete champion. Let's get this three fest added up. 21, okay, let's find love because I'm already seeing love right off the bat. PE21 plus MT33, there's love number one in the word complete. So we found love in the word complete already. And then you got another half of love from the LO. Um, so we got love plus half of love. So we're at 81 so far. And then uh, let's go into champion land here. Uh, what do we want to do? Well, we want to find love. Well, let's just get this thing added up here. Uh, there's a 40. Oh my goodness, wait a second. Oh my. Look at the, the final four letters. Peon equals love. P-I-O-N. I think there's a lot of words that have that ending. Um, so there's love number two. Then you've got another nine points here. Well, this M, aha, this M here gets married with this E from complete to make uh, 18, and then plus this nine is another half a love. So with these guys then all checked off, we have triple loves. Oh my goodness. Well, this is very creepy. Like, as in good, by the way, creepy divides by three. It's one of my favorite words to just talk about something being over the top cool. Um, and over the top divides by three every word and cool every letter divides by three. So creepy translation over the top cool. Um, complete champion. Look at that. It's triple love in all these letters after the two C's, which is three. It's still my beard. Complete champion. That's the name of these summer camps. For volleyball and basketball, but it's volleyball in particular that I am volunteering for. I've already called the university multiple times. I've left answering messages on the answer machine. I'm like, I want to be there. I think they're all on vacation right now. Um, complete champion. Um, this this is out on the billboard, like at the Langley Event Center. Um, it's the largest sporting event venue, so to speak, in Langley. Um, and they have a large electronic sign screen on the side of the venue by the street. So complete champion. I can't, that's amazing. So there's love number one, P-E-M-T. And then you had half a love from L-O. Then we found love number two in the final four letters of champion. Then the M and the E and the H and A make another half a love, composed of 18 plus 9 no less. So you got 9, 18, 27. So that's triple love. So that's love plus love plus love plus three plus three in complete champion. Wow. So what is this saying? What is this meaning, complete champion? Well, it's talking about God's glory in sport. Because these, these camps, these summer camps, are first and foremost for volleyball. Volleyball is the king sport of Trinity Western University. And um, it's also the most three-stamped game in the history of the universe, three hits per side. And I've preached on all the words in volleyball, like pass, set, spike. Pass is plus one, set is plus two, spike divides by three. All three, therefore, knit together, divide by three. Initially, they call it sometimes bump, set, spike. Well, bump is plus one, just like pass. So whether you say bump, set, spike, it divides by three in three words, or pass, set, spike, it divides by three in three words. Net divides by three, ball divides by three, volleyball court divides by three, uh, you know, players divides by three, team divides by three, coach divides by three, serve equals Jehovah, jump serve divides by three, jump divides by three, bounce divides by three, uh, setter divides by three, you know, it's just like setter divides by three, spiker divides by three. And you can just keep going and going and going and going and solve every detail of the game in the whole nine years. Okay, so, um, complete champion camp. Um, how many more threes can you ask for? And then, so you get the 30 from here, 
plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, that's like 39 on top of the triple love. My Lord and my God. That adds perfectly to 201, which is like my favorite number from world history. And the street that I grew up around, and to this day, is only two blocks away, 201st Street. The current date and time for historic purposes is 1218 AM, which divides by three, and it is now the 3rd of August. I'm not joking. I am not joking. I can pull off the camera and show you the current date and time, because God is sovereign down to the detail. It is 12.18 a.m., the 3rd of August, 2015, in the name of love. Um, great, now I have to readjust this camera, which is fine. Okay, um, that's more or less centered. More or less. I think this camera has one of those, like, auto, like, you know, <laughs> avoid wigglage features that tries to, like, oh, come on. Get me a little more vertical there. I am six foot five and three quarters, so it's tough to get a good crop on this. There. That should be about right. That's fine. Um, so, complete champion camp equals 201. Three digit all factor eight, triple eight by the law of prime. A triple of 67, 67 is the 19th prime, 19 is the 8th prime. Triple A to the glory of G equals 8A. Complete champion camp. So that's, this is creepy. Like this, this, this is a real creepy one. Like this is like, like my personal life. Like I am volunteering, like maybe I'm going to meet my wife there or something like exceptional like that. <laughs> You're just like, Okay, I have seen the light. Like, I have done the math on the numbers. I was wanting to volunteer for these summer camps, and it's like, I love volleyball, and I'm just gearing up for this, and I'm just, like, waiting for it. And I phoned, and I said, I want to volunteer, and they were excited about this, and they said, yeah, we're going to need volunteers, and it's coming, and it's called, they're called Complete Champion Camps by Trinity Western University Spartans. By the way, there's a DJ announcer position that, oh man, I was drooling over that position. I, I would be the best games announcer of all time for that school. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your Trinity Western University Sparta! And you just drag it out and the crowd goes wild! Um, and, um, <laughs> In the red corner, standing six foot four, number nine, Dave, <laughs> the rock hammer Johnson. <laughs> uh, oh man, the home game announcer. What a crusher by Jones. You're just like, anyways. Um, so, complete champion camp equals 201. That's amazing. So this was triple love, 162, and we found the three loves, plus 39 equals 201, which is my favorite number of world history, the full birth name of Walt Disney, Neil Armstrong, Britney Spears, Hans Zimmer, Bill Gates, uh, Hydra de Silva Costa, uh, who designed the Christ the Redeemer statue in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, which I believe we will see the ultimate three-peat uh, by Usain Bolt. It'll be the third time he wins three gold medals in that famous sprint trio. And I can't, I just want to get this camera a little bit higher so it's not chopping off my, is that, can stay, it tends to want to drift down. The height is a bit more important. Come on, get a, that's, that should be a bit better. Now I'm not so like, that's a little bit better. It's good enough. Um, Complete champion camp. Oh boy. I feel like it's got to be. That's incredible though. 201. Okay. Drastic measures. Really jack it up. And zoom out. There. Now I got plenty of room. <laughs> now I have some headroom. There. That actually feels a lot better. 
I apologize for all the previous videos, but whatever. <laughs> so complete champion camp equals 201 perfectly. Oh my goodness. I remember in uh, high school, I remember uh, picking up garbage at Walnut Grove Secondary School so that I could like earn some money paid for by the school to go to like the gold medal volleyball camp like Mr. Cross and my high school team was putting on. Um, I love volleyball. I could play that game all day long if the people are happy, enthusiastic, and it's a positive, positive environment. So Spartans, complete champion camp, triple love. That was amazing. So complete champion is C plus C plus triple love. Complete champion. I have to say this right now. Please forgive me if this comes across weird. God wants you to be a complete champion. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just felt a little bit too salesman-like there. It's been the, you know, it just, but it actually is the truth, okay? It, it is the truth here. It's like, God wants you to be a complete champion. <laughs> um, Complete champion. No, it, it actually is the truth. Yes. Yeah. Complete champion. Um, <laughs> you know, you could reverse these words and it would be just as amusing. Champion complete. You know, it feels like one of those like protein formulas or something. It's like champion complete. Only 30 grams of protein per squeeze. Like, um, no carbs. 30. Champion complete. Triple up. You know. Um, the complete champion. <laughs> that is too good. That is actually too good. Oh, mine. It's just occurred to me. Whoa, this is cool. So camp equals 33 equals the. So if you say the complete champion, that equals 201. If you say complete champion camp, that equals 201. Wow, this is too good. By the way, can you find love in Joel Austin? Yep, Joel divides by three, Austin divides by three, O-S-T, his last name equals love. Okay. I think there's a, a lot of things that could be changed. Anyways, I'm not going to go there right now. I'm just going to say, God has a plan for everyone. Okay. But, God-centeredness and Christ-centeredness, um, and uh, talking about God's glory in all things, I think, is a far better emphasis. I think sometimes... Okay, I'm not going to say anymore. Okay, so complete champion. I just... Uh... <laughs> I just... I, I've heard certain things like Joel Osteen is a little bit off in certain areas, and I heard some nasty stuff like when he was on that interview with... Uh, Larry King, he didn't even know, he didn't even confess that Jesus was the only way to heaven, and it was just terrible, and there's a lot of people that think he's too wishy-washy, and is not Christ-centered, and is kind of this self-help type book talker, and, you know, just like, you can do it, you know, and it's like, I just, you know, be careful. I, I'm just saying be careful, because I've heard enough things to just want to keep my distance. Um... So, uh, complete champion. Love plus love plus love plus three plus three. Um, so, I think be wary in particular if someone is gleaning money from things that they are sharing. Like, you know, all these videos that I'm producing are 100% free. <laughs> As it should be, in my opinion. Freely ye have received, freely give. Uh, when people are selling books and selling DVDs and making, you know, large amounts of money off of things, I don't like it that much. I, uh, I just, you know, give truth and make sure it's good truth. <laughs> okay, so, complete champion. Okay, that's awesome. So love plus love plus love plus three plus three. So complete champion camp is 201. The complete champion camp is 201. So, um, 
No, in all, in all serious, like we are more than conquerors through Christ. Um, it's amazing. And then, then obviously you should say the worst. Christ is the complete champion. So this is cool though. Complete champion camp. Complete champion. But, but God does want his children to be complete champions, and sport is a huge part of that. So, so this is amazing. So these camps are starting in like a week or so. Complete champion camp. That's a, that's a huge gem. Whoa. That's incredible. Complete champion. I love that. And, and I actually loved these letters the moment I saw them. Um, and uh, I was actually led to go out to the beach volleyball courts at Langley Event Center. And I know I was led to go out there in particular just last night because when I arrived, lo and behold, the six courts that are up there, in a pair of threes. It's just too obvious. Just like the six days of creation are a pair of threes. They had six beach sand volleyball courts that are three on uh, the north and three right, you know, three and three, back to back. The sand is gorgeous. It's the dream sand. And uh, we solved beach sand the other day. In nine letters, beach sand gorgeously is uh, 57, I believe, a triple of eights. Um, by the law of time. But, uh, when we went out there last night, I felt led to go out there, they had groomed the sand on the course. Like, machine groomed it. There's not that many beach courts in this world that I know of that are public that get groomed by a professional machine. And so I went, and they were clearly groomed, and, and so the, the playing surface was really nice and flat, because you know how when you use beach courts, it tends to get bellied in around the serve-receive zone, and then there's a, a high zone up at the net, you know, and it's, it, it kind of, it's, you know, it's all chewed up. It's like the moon is cratered and stuff like this. So they flatten the sand, and it's just this gorgeous, you know, like freshly fallen snow. It's just like a gorgeous flattening of the beach sand at the beach course, and it's just a beach volleyball player's paradise. It's like freshly paved court, so to speak. And, um, you know, it's like the equivalent of a freshly waxed floor for the basketball lover or the volleyball lover indoors. It's like a freshly groomed beach court. Um, and that's what it was when I was out there. It had some use in it. It wasn't like flat, flat. People had jumped on it earlier that day, I'm sure. Um, but, uh, and then so when I first saw these words, complete champion, I was like, yeah, that is awesome. Complete champion. I was like, that's right. I, uh, man, I think God is calling people to get in shape. There's, there, there is a problem in everyone, like Christian, non-Christian alike. It's called ill health, lack of exercise. Jack LaLanne. Do uh, watch YouTube videos of him. He was a fitness nut, um, like awesome guy. I use that word nut positively. Um, and uh, Jack LaLanne divides by three, but uh, he, he's an inspiration. Just you, you read up on him, what he did at, 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 all the way until his old age and just constant physical exercise. Just read up on him, he'll be inspired. But, um, I, I believe that that's what God is like calling everyone to. It's like, no, you guys, you gotta get in shape. As I was standing behind a woman at uh, the buffet uh, in town, and um, uh, oh yeah, man, I got so much to preach on. It's just ridiculous. But anyways, she was like clearly overweight, and I saw her at the Coca-Cola Freestyle machine, and she she chose like the the, the low calorie drinks, and then she chooses like the you know, the uh, Sprite Zero, you know, the Diet Sprite Zero Calories drink. And she's massively overweight. I'm like, honey, uh, it has nothing to do with what you put in. It has everything to do with what you put out. She's not getting any exercise. She's not 
working up a sweat. She's not playing any sports. She's not burning any calories. Your diet has nothing to do with it compared to your exercise habits. If you want to be in shape, it's all about exercise. It has almost nothing to do with what you eat. Okay? Um, okay. So, complete champion. Love that. That is awesome. So that's, that, that's a big gem in my personal life because it's, it's guiding me towards uh, an increased relationship with Trinity Western University, which is really cool. And it's also God encouraging me in my love of sport and volleyball in particular. Very cool. Very cool. The whole person, you know, that's another phrase we could put next to the complete champion. Every word divides by three and whole person. Um. Oh, uh, how can we resist? 48, 69, 87, 114, 150, wow. So whole person is 150, that's what came for three. Add the, you get Christ the Redeemer, 183. So the whole person, you know, very nice. The complete jam. Very cool. Very cool. That's such a little favorite there. Um, I love how God leads me, like, Man, I got so much to preach on. I want to raise this one on the board. I'll just share this with them just to get it off my chest. Um, God actually leads me and then confirms his leading with like the numbers like when I arrive at places. So I go to the buffet um, at the Cascades Casino Resort in Langley. The buffet is not a part of the casino. You don't even have to enter the casino in order to get to the buffet. You can bring your kids. You can bring your whole family. It is the best buffet in town extremely good value for $11.35 after tax. It's like an unbelievably good buffet. Anyways, um, obvious threes in there. It's called The Buffet. And over top of the buffet that is written three times. One, two, three. The drink machine is Coca-Cola Freestyle, which divides by three. In fact, it's something just disturbing, like it equals God is Sovereign, or something really good, like two under one or something. Solved it in the previous videos, Coca-Cola free stop. But my favorite jam that I got, the, then there was a, an obvious one. Oh man, I, I even brought it home. It's in my car right now. Um, just too much. Um, it's a little uh, card, an advertising card for the buffet. That every component divides by three. And I remember it says, um, at the top, the words are, the best deal in the house. That phrase divides by three. And then underneath that it says, for your whole house. That divides by three. Okay. And then the sticker on the bottom, the, the line under that says, bring all the family. And bring all the family divides by three. So it's an ad for the buffet. The, des the best deal in the house for your whole house. Bring all the family. And every part divides by three. And the name of the place is called The Buffet. 33 plus 60, 93. Too easy. Find love in buffet. You just pop off the center F, and the rest is 27 plus 27 in buffet. Um, and then my favorite one is the soft serve ice cream station for the number three, because you have vanilla on the left, swirl in the middle, and then chocolate on the right. Well, which one should you get? You should get swirl in the center, which is just exactly what my taste buds like the best, and the one that I always choose. I get so much of the swirl one, I, don't even, I haven't even touched the vanilla or the chocolate separately. Swirl is perfectly 81, which is love plus half a love, and it's the letters, the bookends, S-W-L, make love, and then the R, I and the R in the center are half a love. So swirl is love plus half a love. Vanilla is 70. Chocolate is 82. Vanilla plus 2, chocolate plus 1. Vanilla and chocolate were foreordained to go together before the foundation of the universe just like chocolate mint go together to make a beautiful multiple of three. Okay? And so vanilla plus chocolate divides by three. Swirl in the center faucet divides by three all by itself. The word swirl. And these things are labeled perfectly that way in all capital letters at this buffet. Vanilla. Swirl. 
chocolate. And then there's big, large capital letters, soft serve ice cream. Soft divides by three, serve divides by three, ice cream divides by three. <laughs> well, which one should you get? You should get the swirl. So vanilla is 70, chocolate is 82. Put those two together, you get 130, um, excuse me, 100, wait a minute, you get uh, 150, why am I just all over the place here? 162, is that correct? That's triple love. No, something wrong with my calculations here. Hold on, vanilla was 70. Why am I really brain freezing? <laughs> 152? What is chocolate again? I gotta revisit my number. I think chocolate was 82. You can do the math yourself. Um, maybe vanilla was 79? No. No, vanilla was. I think my number for vanilla is off. 48 plus 23. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Vanilla is 71. Pardon me. Vanilla is 71. Swirl is 81. Chocolate is 82. So vanilla plus chocolate is 153. There you go. That's the number of fishes Jesus ordained his disciples to catch the third time he appeared after his resurrection. So vanilla plus chocolate, 153. And then swirl is love plus half a love in the center. 81 plus that uh, bumps it up to 234. 234. So, that's fun. Okay. Fun um, stuff. Um, I just love sharing how, like, where, where places God leads me to, it's like there's obvious threes already like happening there. So it's like a love language between me and him. And obviously he's doing that with people all over the universe. And more and more people, I believe, are going to get into this and wake up to it and appreciate this uh, mechanism of God's glory, the numbers. Okay, that's so cool. Um, So I'm eating at buffets, I'm getting physically in shape, I'm getting ready to go to the complete champion camp. <laughs> um, we're doing things like this guy, you know, okay. Um, that is true. Goodness. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a lot. I have an interview with Amazon, if God wills me to go to it, at uh, 9 a.m. on Wednesday um, of this week. And um, yeah, just to meet some people. I don't know if it's God's will that I work there. I would suspect probably not. Um, but one step at a time. So tonight is tonight. Yeah, that's awesome. That's so cool, complete champion. Crazy. Crazy. Too cool. So anything else we um If I'm a coach, then I would make me Coach Kubi. <laughs> Last name is 39. The word head is uh, 15. Oh my goodness. Coach Kubi adds to love perfectly. <laughs> That's too much. So my last name is Kubi, K-U-B-E. If you put the word coach in front of that, by the way, I live in a coach house right now. Coach seems to just... <laughs> Apparently I'm ordained to be a coach. I live in a coach house. You will be a coach, Derek. I'm like, cool. Um, so, um, a volleyball coach. Okay. Um, so, coach is uh, 
21 plus 9 is 30. Wait a minute, hold the phone. 18 plus 9, 27. Yeah, Coach is 30. Sorry, so my last name is 39. So Coach Kubi, pardon me, equals Jehovah. 69. That's really cool. Pop off an O and you get love. So we found love in Coach Kubi. Sweet. Incidentally, if you say Mr. Kubi, that adds to 1, 2, 3 perfectly. And if you say Mrs. Kubi, it equals the same number. Because Mr. equals Mrs. equals 84. Add an 84 to Kubi, 39, you get 1, 2, 3. So if any kid in the future says Mr. Kubi, that adds to 1, 2, 3. Or if they say Mrs., M-I-S-S-E-S, -S -S, if they say Mrs. Kubi, that equals 1, 2, 3. So obviously this has happened to my parents, you know, while they were growing up and had babysitting and all that. Mr. Kubi, Mrs. Kubi, can we go to the park? Mr. Kubi equals 1, 2, 3. Mrs. Kubi equals 1, 2, 3. As in 123. Just some personal gems there. Um, <laughs> too cool. And apparently there's going to be a lot more Mr. and Mrs. Kubis on the way. God willing. You know, if more babies happen in this family, well, that'll be more Mr. Kubis, and that'll be more Mrs. Kubis. Okay. Um, so... Look up Blink Champion. Um, yours, fully 999. Okay. Um, anything else that has been happening? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, the supply chain. Supply chain divides by three. Bookended in 33. In fact, it's doubly bookended. Supply chain is a little different. Uh, happy 75th, DQ. Um, happy 75th. <laughs> to the glory of the Trinity. There are three big uh, businesses that are celebrating an anniversary that divides by 15 this year. McDonald's, 60th. Disneyland, 60th. And DQ, 75th. So, um, like I say, folks, God leads you to go all over the place. I'm like, for some reason, I'm going to DQ right now. You know, Holy Ghost, like, where are we going? Oh, DQ for a blizzard. I haven't had a blizzard in a long time. Lo and behold, I go there, and it's their 75th anniversary. Well, DQ equals 21 divided by 3. Their colors divide by 3. Blue plus white plus red plus orange all divide by 3. Um, if you just want to go red, white, and blue, it divides by 3. But lo and behold, a big 75. 15s, okay? And we've talked about 15, 2015 this year, and the Pan Am Games and all this. So it's their 75th anniversary. And their blizzard, you know, treats a pizza, by the way, divides by 3. The two favorite items, well, three favorite items from Dairy Queen. My number one pick is the Treats of Pizza. Second is their, their blizzards, upside down thick, remember? They make it and then they hold it upside down before they, they do this, before they hand it to you. And then, of course, their ice cream cakes. <laughs> There's a few quintessential DQ items that we all love. The Treats of Pizza, the blizzard, and the ice cream cakes. Um, Hot eats, cool treats. We treat you right. Um, and then, so it's fun. You're just you're you're enjoying this. I got the classic Oreo Blizzard, which, in my opinion, is classic Oreo cookie divides by three. By the way, I went to um, uh, Gateway of Hope, which in three words divides by three, and I got myself um, this item right here, which is called an. Oreo cookie cupcake. Well, Oreo cookie divides by three. You get a shot of that yourself. Oreo cookie divides by three, and cupcake divides by three. So, an Oreo cookie cupcake divides by three perfectly. So, this item in the story of God has a name, it has a number, and the number points to the Trinity. And there are three parts to this cupcake cookie, icing, base. Enjoy equals Jehovah. Um, so here we have an Oreo cookie cupcake to the glory of the Trinity. Do the math and the letters. And so you got pleasure now while you're, you got something to do intellectually while you're enjoying the molecules of this item that is going into your digestive system. It's like the double win. You're getting this guy fed and exercised up here while you're getting the nutrition. Actually, I, I would refuse to eat this right now because it's a lot of sugar. Um, but, same thing with my little DQ cup here. I'm like, oh, sweet. So DQ plus the R for copyright is 21 plus 18, both divided by 3, that's 39. 
And then I'm solving, you know, only at DQ. That's a copyrighted statement they have there for the upside down blizzard. Only at DQ, and lo and behold, the French also divides by three. Seulement chez DQ. <laughs> In three words, divides by three. In fact, every word divides by three. And uh, same with this phrase in English, only at DQ. Every part divides by three. Seulement, chez DQ. You're just like, whether I'm in Quebec or in British Columbia, the threes go before me and come to find me. You're just like, God is sovereign in all languages all over the world. And um, so you're just, you're, it's a treasure hunt everywhere you go. It is, you have to understand how generous God is. You have to understand how good God is. You have to understand how much abundance there is for your brain everywhere you go. It's, it's a pleasure. I'm never bored standing in a lineup anymore. When this started happening to me, of all places, you talk about the place for the king of lineups, I was in Disneyland. I was getting my numbers revelations in Disneyland. And if there's a place that has lineups, it's Disneyland. Well, I'm not bored in lineups anymore, because all, while I'm standing in line, I'm looking around and solving the words of everything under the sun that I can see with my eyes. I got tons to do. It's a pure pleasure for the brain to be solving things mathematically. Um, and uh, so, happy 75th DQ to the glory of the Trinity. God is sovereign for this year, the famous 2015, 75, 15 years old. Happy anniversary, DQ. Eat up, people. Um, treats of Pizza. That's one of my favorite brands of all time. Treats said divides by three, the way they spelled it. And pizza divided by three. And both words end in Z plus A, which is 27 half of love. It's a real obvious gem, the treats of pizza. So go buy a treats of pizza. You can eat, I, it's even sliced in sixes, in six, which divides by three. And uh, share it in the name of love and worship the triune God, who ordained the treats of pizza. And ice cream cakes. This is what the business world needs to hear. People in business need to hear this preaching. People in... Because God gave them those interests. By the way, Donald Trump divides by three. I hope God saves him before he dies. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, business equals love plus love in the exact same fashion as Spartans. Right? So, that happy birthday, DQ. Um, and that all divides by three. Happy birthday, DQ. Okay, fine. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit. Pull back. Whew, intense. Very cool. Okay. Very, very fun. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to keep uploading this stuff.